For many teenagers, getting a driver's licence is an exciting time. Studying the road rules allows young motorists to pass the big test, but how many know the ins and outs of what constitutes a defect on their vehicle? What's classed as a ball tyre, what's classed as illegal window, too dark window tinting. So that's where I come along. I teach them what the rules are, the fines. Mark Poulton travels the state in his lemon car. He says the most common problem is incorrectly displayed L or P plates. In this situation, a driver risks a fine and the loss of demerit points by hiding the P plate under the number plate instead of a holder. Mark says other problems include modifications to vehicles. Often drivers go to auto retail outlets and buy products they assume are legal. I say to the students, when you go into one of these shops, don't say, I want such and such. Yeah, what you have to do is say, am I allowed? Because by law they have to say no. High-powered vehicles cannot be driven by P-plate drivers, but the law does recognise those in isolated areas. There are exemptions. Uh, if a student lives out in the middle of the country and has a job, uh, but there's no bus transport or no way for them to get to work and all mum and dad own are a V8, they can get an exemption then. With so many laws and potential fines, Mark believes Australia needs to have a uniform set of rules as confusion reigns between states and territories. In New South Wales, uh, you're allowed to have a crack windscreen on the passenger side. In the ACT, you're allowed to have it on the driver's side. But once they cross the border into New South Wales, they're going to get pinged by the police. Drivers of all ages encouraged to do their research to avoid unwanted fines. BJ Conkey, Win News.